Jesus declares, The Lord's Spirit is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim release for captives and liberation for prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and a day of vindication from God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for Zion's mourners, and to give them a crown in place of ashes, oil of joy in place of mourning, a mantle of praise in place of discouragement. They will be called oaks of righteousness, planted by the Lord to glorify himself. Well, welcome to the service of prayer on this Memorial Day, brothers and sisters. And as we come into this Memorial Day, we know that there are so many things to remember, so many lives to remember, loved ones who we have lost and who we mourn for and who we miss even years later. And today, in the midst of that old and well-worn grief that is still brings us to tears at times, still raises emotions for us, we have this fresh, new and growing grief of the coronavirus epidemic. We have had now over 100,000 deaths, more deaths, more American deaths than the Vietnam and Korean wars combined. And so with this fresh grief in mind, we come into this Memorial Day mourning not just lives lost in wars, but mourning those who have been lost in this fresh struggle and this new grief. And we just come before the Lord to acknowledge our grief, to place it before our God, and to allow him to lift that grief and lift us up in his hands that we might all be healed. Even as we continue to mourn, even as we continue to experience sorrow, that we might experience the refreshment of the Lord. So please do join me in this time of prayer as we do acknowledge our grief before the Lord and we place it at his feet and we allow him to lift it up that we might all be healed. So I'll again say a short prayer. I'll read a passage of scripture and then we'll get a chance to lift up our particular prayer requests and griefs before the Lord, naming those people in those situations that trouble us or that we miss. And so please do pray with me in this time. And if you're able to pray out loud, I invite you to do so. If you simply are praying in the quiet of your hearts, I invite you to do so. Either way, the Lord our God is close at hand to hear your prayer and to respond to you. So please do pray with me. We pray this prayer for our nation. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of this country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we might use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray our scripture reading for today, which is Psalm number 89, and we'll begin in verse 5. Heaven thanks you for your wonderful acts, Lord, for your faithfulness, too, in the assembly of the holy ones. Is there any in the sky who could compare to the Lord? Who among the gods is equal to the Lord? God is respected in the council of the holy ones. God is awesome and revered more than all around him. Who is like you, Lord God of heavenly forces? Mighty Lord, your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves rise up, it is you who makes them still. It's you who crushed Rahab like a body. You scattered your enemies with your strong arm. Heaven is yours, the earth too, the world and all that fills it. You made all of it. North and south, you created them. The mountains, Tabor and Hermon, shout praises to your name. You have a powerful arm. Your hand is strong. Your strong hand is raised high. Your throne is built on righteousness and justice. Loyal love and faithfulness stand in front of you. The people who know the celebratory shout are truly happy. They walk in the light of your presence. They rejoice in your name all day long and are uplifted by your righteousness because you are the splendor of their strength. By your favor, you make us strong because our shield is the Lord's own. Our king belongs to the Holy One of Israel. And now to that Holy One, to our king, we lift up our prayers. And I invite you to join me in lifting up your particular 
needs and requests before the Lord in this time as we pray. And after I say each short phrase, I'll leave a pause in which you can lift up the names of people that you love, situations that are dear to you. And then I will say, Lord, in your mercy, and I invite you to respond, hear our prayer. So let us pray together. As a congregation and as a community, we come before you, Lord, and we ask your healing blessing to fall upon us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those who have lost loved ones, who have lost them in violence and in war, recently or many years ago. And Lord, we pray for your comfort even today, as the old wounds still ache and the old griefs come to the surface. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we thank you for those loved ones, even that we have lost, and we thank you for the gift of their love and their lives. Lord, in your mercy, we pray We pray, Lord, for those who have loved ones who are currently overseas. Lord, whether they've moved for work or with the military or for some other reason. And Lord, we pray as that distance feels even greater in the time of this pandemic. We pray for those here and we pray for those abroad. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, we pray for those who have lost someone among the more than 100,000 people who have died in this country of the coronavirus. The more than 100,000 Americans who have died, Lord, we pray for those who have loved one, for those who have loved them and those who have lost. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we struggle to comprehend the magnitude and the vastness of this loss, Lord, give us the gift of grief. Give us the, the gift of time to pause. And Lord, give us the gift of giving thanks for those that we have lost, even as we flow tears for having lost them. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, we pray for those serving in the medical community, for nurses, doctors, researchers. Lord, those who are caring for our loved ones who are ill and those who put their lives on the line to care for others. Lord, we thank you for them and we ask that you would bless them in their service. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, we pray for chaplains serving in all kinds of institutions. For those serving uh, in the military. Lord, we pray that they would be a voice bringing your presence, reminding us of your presence in a place that often doesn't feel like you are there. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for chaplains serving in institutions of medical care. Lord, their ministry has been so reshaped in this time, and we pray your blessing upon it. Especially, Lord, those we pray for those who are caring for and tending th to the dying. Lord, in hospice situations, in coronavirus treatment facilities. Lord, we pray your blessing on this hard and this difficult ministry and we lift up our sisters and brothers before you who are doing it. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, we pray 
for all of us. We pray as we grieve that you would replace our grief with your gladness, that even as we feel sorrow, we would also see your face shining upon us and that we would be comforted by your presence. Come Holy Spirit, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray together as we lift up our prayers for the world and for the church all around the world. We join with voices all around the world in all nations, tribes, and tongues, lifting up this prayer that our Lord and Savior, who is the Savior of all, has taught us. And now let's pray with Jesus and pray with one another, praying this prayer in whatever language or phrasing you have learned it over the years. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now before we say our final, uh, before we say our blessing, I'll pray this closing prayer. And this prayer for those who may be in trouble or in a time of bereavement currently on this day. So we pray, O merciful Father, you have taught us in your holy word that you do not willingly afflict, afflict or grieve the children of men and women. Look with pity upon the sorrows of your servants for whom our prayers are offered. Remember them, O Lord, in mercy. Nourish their souls with patience. Comfort them with a sense of your goodness. Lift up your countenance upon them and grant them your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. And now go in the peace that only God can offer, sisters and brothers. May you be blessed by the Lord, whatever your situation is today. And may that blessing overflow the boundaries of your life to be a blessing in this world. Love God and love neighbor. And be safe and be well as you do so. Amen.